One of the biggest hurdles for newer and seasoned indie artists is getting new fans. Sometimes we don't even really know where to start, especially if we only have like one song. So beginners, and maybe some of you seasoned artists in the middle of a rebrand, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five ways for you to acquire new fans that love your type of music. Let's blast off and get started. Konnichiwa Cyborgs, I'm Jonathan Miller, and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better songwriter. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music, and every Wednesday on this channel, I'm helping others take their music to level two. That sounds good? Consider subscribing. If not, then good luck by yourself, but everybody here who's chosen to join the party is gonna get lots of valuable information today. At least I think it's valuable. Maybe it's just information. Maybe you shouldn't subscribe. Wait, no, what am I saying? Come back! So before we get into this, I do want to say a big thank you to subscriber VO for suggesting this video. She's a very sweet person and a fellow indie musician, so go give her some love. There's links in the description below. Also on another note, I want to say I usually advocate before you get to this part, doing your research on who you are as an artist, understanding your genre and niche, and really knowing what type of music you want to make and what your brand's going to be all about. I did a video about this last week and there's a lot of golden nuggets in there for you, so go check it out before you watch this one, okay? Anyway. If you're one of those people who has done your research, then let's get you some new fans. The first way, family and friends. Everyone wants fans all over the world, but back it up and let's start locally, okay? Your family and friends are your first fans and don't take that for granted, that's awesome. Because every one of those people has their own network that they could be sharing your song to. All you gotta do is ask and some of your friends and family will do it without you asking them. And if you're in the boat like I am, where you have some family and friends that don't support you, don't sweat it. Don't waste your time trying to convert them. It's not gonna work, move on. It's not a fun boat to be in, but you can put all that energy into making new music. So it's gonna be okay because you have a whole bunch of other people that love and support you. The second way to get new fans is through live gigs or house concerts. Nothing wrong with the tried and true method. You can perform cover songs if you don't have your own yet. Just make sure you pick artists and songs that really represent who you are and what you want your brand to be about. Not just any old song that showcases your talent. Although there is a time and a place for that. Find a balance. Book a gig at a local bar or club and perform a set. If you're not into that scene or you're underage, hold a house concert or perform at birthdays, bar mitzvahs, perform at weddings. It takes a lot of courage, but if you wanna go that avenue, there's plenty of options for you. The third way to get new fans, giveaways. If you've got merch like a t-shirt or you've got a song or an album, do a giveaway. Give a song away for free in exchange for an email address. Social media sites can come and go. I mean, remember Vine or MySpace? Rest in peace. If you build an email list, you can always be certain to notify your fans in case something happens to a certain platform. Freebies are always fun for people. Who doesn't love free stuff? So give a t-shirt away at your next house concert. A lot of love given will always find its way back to you. Number four, online communities. Yes, I know I just said that social media can die, but it doesn't mean you can't use it while it's still here. Interact with others in your favorite fandoms or other communities online. And no, I don't mean comments like, oh, I really like your channel. You should check out mine. Leaves the link that wasn't asked for. Or my favorite on Instagram, the random emoji like, what the fuck is that? Or the new one that I've been getting a lot is, hey, I really like your feed make sure you check out insert artist name here for their dope tracks you're gonna love them no you leave that comment on my instagram yo ass is getting deleted be, be a, real, a genuine real genuine person. person have conversations get to know people put yourself out there be a friend follow other people and don't expect it in return but be appreciative when it does treat these people like your family and friends be genuine and be patient because over time these are the people that are going to turn into your super fans that will promote the hell out of your music and buy it no spamming your soundcloud links on everyone else's instagrams or facebook or whatever be real, be genuine, and be a real friend. And the last way you can get new fans, Facebook ads. 
Yes, the last thing is advertising, but I don't recommend you do it until you know your branding and you've got consistent images across all your social media. But paid traffic is definitely a viable option. But there's a specific way to format stuff and Facebook is always changing its algorithms and shit so you really have to be careful with this one because it can get expensive very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. But if you know your brand, you know what you're all about, you've got some music, you know who your target audience is, your images, your banners and links are very consistent across all of your social media pages because people are gonna check you out, you've got pro photographs of yourself taken, you've done the grunt research, then by all means, go for it. But again, another word of caution, you're probably not gonna get it right the first few times. Or the first hundred, oops. Facebook advertising is good. If you know what you're looking for, you can put your music right in front of the people who are most likely to love your type of music. Videos also work best on that platform, so keep it in mind. But once they start coming in and you've got some new fans, hold tight and don't let go. So those are some ways for acquiring new fans. Question of the video? What are some other ways you could be acquiring fans as a new artist? Leave me a comment below letting me know. And before you go, if you haven't seen, I am starting a crowdfunding campaign for my new EP. I need your help to get this thing released, even if you can only contribute a dollar. Seriously, it means the world to me. It's starting soon, so if you love dance pop music and you want to be among the first notified, then click the link in the description below. I'm so excited for this, it's been a long time coming. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. Matane!